Hey everyone, Zev here, welcome to Astro Hunters Overview. This is kinda a sleeper on the store currently, since it's packing so much content that when I went through the game, I don't think I was prepared for what has come to me. And it's also a rather fresh gameplay on the platform, so it really has a lot of things going on for it. So Astro Hunters is an extraction shooter game where as being part of the mercenary clan hunters, your task is to help the mothership in its goals and partake in dangerous escapades to fulfill whatever goal you have in your mind. I found out that the best word to describe this game is freedom. You essentially do whatever you want, whether you want to fight with players, AI, craft, explore vast areas, fulfill missions, like there's actually so much going on that it's really hard to convey in one simple video. And I find this project to have a rather great potential in the future, all depending how the community will pick it up and the devs passion. It's not necessarily my favorite genre, I found myself rather lost in the beginning because it really is throwing a lot of information at once, so the best case is to go straight into the battle zone and figure out yourself your own dynamic. It's also I feel like the first game of that kind that actually realizes a full PvP VE concept where depending on your humor you can just interact with players, kill them and cooperate in missions. It's very interesting how it's all going under the radar kinda, but then again, the store is in such chaos that I don't even know anymore what's happening. Either way, I'll be on the lookout what's happening with this project. It is definitely one of a kind and we shall see how everything goes forward. Let's go discover the planet. Welcome to Astro Hunters VR an extraction shooter set in space where you compete with other hunters on an alien planet. Immerse yourself in a universe filled with hostile environments and endless possibilities. Explore diverse planets, gather precious resources, and use the mothership's advanced crafting stations to build and upgrade your arsenal. Meet up with other players and form alliances with fellow hunters on mothership. Engage in intense battles against alien threats. Complete hunter tasks given to you by the mothership commander to gain rewards. Store your hard-earned loot in your private storage rooms and prepare for your next daring expedition. But be careful. Other hunters lurk in the shadows. Will you ally, fight, or betray? That's kind of different. Because normally in those extraction shooters or whatever the case is, the genre, it would be either this or that. The combat with players but now it seems like there's a choice and a possibility to fight with monsters around kinda new also i feel like it uses a heavy asw because i already saw frames just skipping through my lenses and i'm not even in the game okay let's just go <laughs> actually the game splits in two so we either have full-on experience or just Kinda casual one. I mean, I'm not gonna play and talk with other people, but maybe it's gonna be nice to have a possibility. We'll see. And I have a feeling I'm gonna be alone away, so... I can get anything I want. Was this video a tutorial already? I guess. The hostels are like not aligned with my body. I'm a simple guy. Do I have more? I mean, every single one.
There we are. <laughs> I suppose that can be treated as a tutorial. Oh, that's pistol. And reloading. It's a futuristic weapon, so I don't know. There's a lot of going on at the start. No movement, though. Oh, that's mine. Let's just go. In terms of the graphics, I think for the quest platform, it ain't bad. There is some lack of detail going on, but for something that's like multiplayer and high intensity, I don't think I mind it. But I find it weird that with trigger we grab stuff. Like ammunition. Ah, there we go. Already some objects around. Well, that feels very unique. <laughs> Literally on another planet, just being out there among aliens. Also, it seems like we have some ghosts of some sort. But what is, like, the main purpose? I guess just to gather resources and then get out? Well, I don't think that was a good choice. Do I get some XP? Okay, so we have some inventories, missions. Already aggressive people. What the hell? Really? <laughs> and I am back in the partnership. Maybe I should have taken the PvE, like... It seems people have no chill. So we actually have personal... 
outfits and layouts. What we carry. It's quite serious stuff. I'll try again, but I need to pick up my weapons again. Oh, but they don't seem to spawn. I have like one try for an account. That's interesting. Yeah! Wow! I need my thing! I suppose then I'll grab something else and then we shall see, but there's a lot to uncover and I won't gonna cover everything in one video. Where are we now? Hopefully no nasty people. Guess we get randomized orders and we have space jellyfish. So we just are on our way doing stuff and trying to survive. I have some machine. What could be a space jellyfish? Well, they escape, so. Oh, they're so cute. What about them? Not really. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm not gonna be mean. It's not here. I'm not sure if I should look forward into the more realistic physics based setting or as the thing them I feel like the inventory doesn't connect that often, like it needs to be very high over your head. And I feel like we share mission if you're like nearby. Well, I'm done. I have no ammo left. <laughs> I 
It's like you'll be throwing something over. And I feel like that would be that gameplay loop. You fulfill missions and tasks, you have some drops, people around that you can communicate or cooperate or just kill. That gives a lot of freedom in general. I don't have ammo though. I wonder if there are some crates. I mean, half a kilometer is kind of not. So I'll focus on the exploration part. But there seems to be a lot of people. What the? Wait, are they? Oh, that's NPCs! To be honest, this has some big potential going on, cause it is a rather undiscovered gameplay on the platform, I feel like. We have the population and those other extraction shooters, but this one is packing an additional layer on top of that with introduction of monsters and AI. It might be a little bit brutal for a total newbie, cause it seems like you're actually losing your stuff permanently and then figure it out yourself. You definitely need to play a bit longer to discover all the features available, how things work, your strategies and stuff. So it's not a shallow release at all, like it packs content depending how far into the discovery you are willing to go. There's some decent mechanics going on, reloading seems fine, maybe not necessarily actual physics cause there doesn't seem to be any really. Graphics rather decent, I don't really have complaints. Yeah, this is quite solid and I'm very curious how it's gonna evolve over time. Maybe it's a little bit niche but it is definitely something that I did not see before around.